Oh, hello everyone. I'm just at my sister's house and I'm just trying to film our newest member of the family, Bernard here, the, the miniature poodle puppy. Oh, yes, that's right. We, we recently have an, a new puppy into the family now. So meet Bernard, the miniature poodle puppy here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, as you can see, he's very cute. Ugh. Yeah, he likes to... Yeah, he likes the company of other people, there as you can see. He's just on my lap, chewing one of his toys there. Hey, yeah. isn't that right, Bernie? Yeah, yeah, even though he's called Bernard, he... We tend to call him Bernie, because he tends to come by that name more often. Hey, yeah. playing with one of your toys now. Ah, uh, yeah. Playing with that thing there now. <laughs> uh, yeah, come, coming back on my lap now. Hey, coming back on my lap, Bernie. Hey. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, Bernard here is a miniature poodle puppy and. Yeah, some of you probably know there are three main breeds of poodles. Of course, there's the miniature poodle, which is this breed here. And they're sort of the medium size ones. And there's the toy poodle, which is a smaller breed of poodle. And there's the standard poodle, which is the largest poodle breed. And uh, currently, they, they either come from, well, originate from France or Germany. Though there is somewhat of a debate huh, uh, whether where, which country they actually originate from, either from France or Germany, but I don't know personally where they came from. I'll, I'll leave that for other people to decide. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, you love chewing on that toy, don't you, Bernie? Hey? Yeah, I'm just trying to. Get a better shot of his face. Oh, if I can, that is. Eh, still got that toy in your mouth, eh, hey, Bernie? Eh? Hey. Oh, now he's... Now he's dropped it. Oh. Go get it, Bernie. Go get it. Oh. Oh. Do you want to play your teddy bear now, hey? Want to play with your teddy bear, Bernie? Ugh. Oh, now, miniature poodles, as you probably uh, know, well, or, or all poodles for that matter, have a reputation for being one of the most intelligent dog breeds in the world. In fact, they're so intelligent that they're second only to the to the border collie, that's how intelligent they are. And they're the second most intelligent dog breed after the border collie, apparently, yeah. And, well, poodles, including the miniature poodle, uh, because they're so intelligent, they can be very easy to house train. Uh, uh, he's just sniffing around. Hey, you're sniffing around, Bernie, hey? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Bernie. Hey, Bernie. Oh, in case some of you may be wondering about owning a, a miniature poodle. Uh, yeah, they're very easy to house, trained mainly because they're so intelligent. But also they do make very good first-time dogs. Uh, well, for first-time dog owners. So they are an ideal dog breed for first-time dog owners. Yeah, and they have a fairly good temperament as well, as they do get along well with children, other dogs, and other family pets. Though, as with any other dog breed, they need to be socialised from a very early age in order to make it work, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and as you can see, he likes to follow me around. I guess well, it's because he's he's a fairly timid pup. And, well, I guess one of the main reasons is that uh, 
Yeah, well, when he was born, he was the only one in the litter. Yeah, that's right. Because, oh, they, well, miniature poodles, well, females usually give birth from one to ten puppies. Yeah, but out of that, he, he was the only one born in the litter. So I guess that's why he's fairly timid. Ain't that right, Bernie? Oh, you're tired now, eh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess he's kind of tired now and... and <laughs> wants to go to... trying to sort out his bed. Oh, you're chewing it, eh? Chewing your bed, Bernie. Oh, but despite that, he has settled in quite well into the family. Mm-hmm. And he, he loves being around us, loves the company of humans, well, as miniature poodles do, generally. Uh, now, if you are thinking about owning one, there's some other things you need to know. Uh, since they are poodles, uh, well, they don't shed, but uh, their, uh, well, their, their grooming can be quite a challenge, as they need a daily brush, and... And taking them to the dog grooming shops can be quite high because they need to be groomed every six to eight weeks or so. Yeah, yeah so that can take some doing. Uh, and uh, despite their relatively small size, miniature poodles, when they grow up, they need quite a lot of exercise as well. Uh, but if you do have the time and patience, uh, miniature poodles do make very good companion dogs, uh, as with any other dog breed in general, of course. Mm -hmm. Hey, you trying to sort out your bed, Bernie? Hey, hey, you're tired now. You're tired, Bernie. Hmm. You're very tired, Bernie. Hey. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. As you can see, a uh, uh, Bernadette is sort of a, a reddish brown or, or browner. He's more or less the same colour as Buck. Yeah. And the colourations of miniature poodles can vary from black and brown, red, apricot, white, silver, and blue. I think. Well, I don't know if I've left any other colours out. Uh, let me know if I have. Uh, you tired, Bernie? You tired there? <laughs> uh, trying to find the right spot to sleep, are you? Hey. <laughs> uh, hey, Bernie. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, even though I've been a long time dog lover, uh, this is the first time we've ever had a miniature poodle in the family. Because oh, I don't know if I've told you this in the past, we've we've mainly had Border Terriers and Irish Terriers in the past. Because, well, as you know, we've we've had Murphy in the past, uh, my first ever Irish Terrier, and now we currently have Buck, our second Irish Terrier, and uh, our overall fourth dog. Uh, uh, this is the first time ever we've ever had a, a miniature poodle puppy. And of course, he's our overall fifth dog in the family, so it'll be interesting how it goes. Uh, but as I said earlier, miniature poodles do make uh, good dogs for first time dog owners. If you're willing to uh, take the time and patience to look after them, of course. Mm hmm. Uh, Alright, I think I'll end the video here because Bernard is getting very tired. Well, from me and our new dog, Bernard, see you next time, everyone.